Motor Company this morning, we have another interesting story for you. This Tesla Model S was a $10,000 car. The reason this customer was able to purchase it for $10,000 is because it has a bad main propulsion battery pack which costs, with labor, $20,000 to replace. These earlier model Model S's are only worth about $30,000, so generally this car would have just uh, uh, remained unsold. This customer came to us and asked if we were able to repair his battery. And what we're going to show you today is how we do that. The first thing we end up doing is this cavity right here is where the battery would normally sit. It's about 1,200 pounds with over 7,000 lithium ion vape cigarette cells mounted in it. And it requires special equipment to remove. So this electric pallet jack is what we use. And essentially what it allows us to do is to maneuver this 1,200 pound battery pack and basically serves as a work table as we end up working on these packs. Now what you see inside this pack are what they call modules. These are a collection of lithium ion cells. In the Tesla Roadster they call them sheets. And we'll show you a couple of those side by side. In the Tesla Roadster, these sheets or modules as they call them in the Model S stand vertically. In the Model S they lay horizontally and generally they will have 14 or 16 depending on the size of the battery pack. The problem with this pack was one of these modules had a bad cell and ironically it takes only one out of 7,000 cells in order to disable a car. So what we ended up doing was taking the top cover off of this battery pack and you can see the cover on the floor here. They use lots of uh, caulk to make it waterproof and then we ended up taking the module out. There are cooling jackets that mount on the modules to keep the cells cool and here's what it looks like on the bench. On our high voltage battery bench here is where we end up working on either Tesla Roadster sheets as they call them or in this case a Model S, Model X module. Um, these modules, just like the Tesla Roadster, have a cooling jacket and there's glycol that runs through and touches every single cell to keep it at a certain temperature. In the Model S, these are the two intake and output ports for the cooling system. We cap them off so that we don't get any uh, uh, draining onto the bench and then we go through to isolate the bad cell. The reason we could tell that this was the module that was affected is we take a voltage reading across the module which is about 21 volts in this case. In a Tesla Roadster it's about 37 volts across the, uh, uh, the connections on a sheet. These sheets are all then connected in series in a Tesla Roadster for about 400 volts DC. The same is true with these modules in a Tesla Model S. Now remember, this would normally be laying horizontally. We have it standing up so that we could service mm -hmm. it. And what we found mm -hmm. on, this, on this module was one out of over 7,000 cells that was defective. And what I mean by defective is with a lithium ion cell, this is what they look like. It's a little bit larger than a AA battery. It's about 4 volts, 4.2 volts, 3.6 in the Model S. And as these go bad, they become resistive. The problem with that is, in each of these bricks, there are a collection of cells that are connected in parallel. So if you get one of these cells that goes bad, it pulls down all the rest of the cells in that brick. There are a number of bricks in each sheet, or in this case module, and a number of modules in each pack. So we have special equipment and procedures that help us isolate which one of these 7,000 plus cells has gone resistive. And once we find that, 
We then snip it out. There are fusible link wires that connect all of these cells to these bonding plates on both sides. And by snipping it out, we've essentially neutralized the defective cell, taking it out of circuit. Now, one of the ways that we could tell that this was definitely the bad cell, as soon as we snipped it, we left our sensitive voltmeters connected to it, and it dropped like a rock. Normally, a cell that is charged would have a gradual decline in voltage. So what we're going to do this morning, we're going to take this module, reinsert it in this pack, put the coolant lines back on, put the cover back on this pack, and then stick it up inside the Model S, and this Model S will live on and continue to be drivable. Thank you, as always, check our YouTube channels. We have cool stuff here that is being posted constantly. If you like Tesla, if you like Tesla tech, this is the place to be. Make sure you subscribe, that way you'll get to see all the latest things that we're posting. We even sell roadsters on that uh, site. We do uh, YouTube videos of any of the cars for sale. So if you're in the market for a Tesla, any kind of Tesla, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.